G'day cheeky dogs, my name's Margie and I'm an Australian currently living in America. And today's video we're going to be breaking down Bandit and his evolution and the change of Bandit that we have seen, not only from when he was like a young little pup, but all the way through to his 2016 and 2017 designs as well for the Bluey Pilots that of course were just released online. Now overall we have six different images that we're going to be looking at and we're going to look at the difference in the designs as well as his voice and his attitude in general as well. I have already done a breakdown of Bluey so if you'd like to check that out, I'll leave a link for it up here as well as in the description box down below and I will of course be doing a breakdown for Chili and pregnant Chili photos as well in a future video so don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well as that bell for notifications so you know when that video comes out. So let's start off with Bandit's attitude first and how much that's changed from the 2016 pilot through to what we have with Bandit in current day because I feel like that's the most like hotly debated topic about this so far. So in the 2016 pilot we see Bandit being super hands on off. <laughs> uh, he is on his phone the whole time playing the Bluey Verse version of Fruit Ninja, but it is called Salad Dodgers, which already is a fantastic Easter egg that is brought back up in season three episode Puppets, where he uses Unicorns and calls the girls Salad Dodgers. Unicorns! How's it going, Salad Dodgers? Well, Unicorns. But it is just so funny to notice that, like, the community response to this bandit being so hands off, pushing Bluey lots, and literally pushing her so hard that she flips around the swing, which of course is a bit dangerous for children, and our current bandit would never do that. But the memes for him online have been hilarious. A lot of people saying that he's dead inside, he's done with his kids, and yeah I can totally see that like the eyes just look like he is just done with life, like he is not sleeping. Maybe Bingo is still a baby in this and she is not sleeping at all, but it is kind of funny that at the very end of it you see that more comedic side to him still, so he still kind of laughs about it and says ah ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> so that comedy side of him is still there. Now of course in comparison to our current bandit that we see now and his attitude, of course he's a lot more involved with the girls, plays games with them, we wouldn't really expect to see him doing that kind of thing or putting the girls in danger at any point with the game. So I think that's really important to notice. However, the phone issue. I feel like a lot of people have forgotten what Bandit was like in the episode Bob Bilby as well as in the episode Cafe. Now of course in Bob Bilby he's sort of playing with the girls and then quickly goes to just playing on his phone while they're on the tablet. So yeah, we've seen Bandit just switch off and go on his phone before. Not too long on that kids. But the episode Cafe I feel like is like the closest link to this and that's where he takes Bluey to a playground and doesn't play with her. He sits on the bench, chills out and he goes on his phone. So I think that that's really important to notice that this has always been a part of Bandit's character is him being distracted on his phone, which of course is a commentary on parents today and us also being distracted on our phones when our kids are there. It's just, I think it's a really good comparison and it's a good wake up call as well to be like, you should be focusing on your kids because if you're just focusing on your phone, they could be in danger. <laughs> so I'd like to point out that that's sort of the differences with the attitudes that we've had for those two types of bandits. Now the voice difference as well is really interesting. So in the 2016 one, you might've noticed that it does not sound like our bandit. How about you get on this one? Okay. All right. Uh, Louie. And that's because it's not. It's actually Joe Brum, the creator of the show. He voiced Bandit for this little short. Whereas by the time we get to the 2017 pilot, we do have Dave McCormack actually voicing Bandit in the show. What's today, kiddo? It's the weekend. That's right. How many games should we play? And as I mentioned in my Bluey breakdown, the intro for the 2017 pilot is also Dave McCormack's band, Custard. <laughs> is their song Pinball Les, which of course eventually got changed into the Bluey themed tune that we know and love now. Now, let's have a look at Bandit's design and how that's changed as he's aged and as how the show has aged as well. So we have six pictures of Bandit. So we have him when he's around 10 years old in the episode Fairy Tale, And we have him in maybe his early 30s for his wedding picture, maybe around his mid or late 30s for Baby Race. And then of course we have pictures of him from the 2016 pilot, the 2017 pilot, and our current Bandit today. Now the main difference is, let's start off with the body shape for the design. The 2016 pilot, he's a lot more blocky. He's more square, he's more angular, he's fatter, and he's a very rectangular nose. Whereas his current form, he has more longer rectangles, he has got a lot more softer edges, and more rounded muzzle as well. The colours, of course, are also a little bit different. So in the 2016 version, he has a lot of the same colouring as Bluey. They're almost identical. So he is more of an aqua blue, he has a brown nose, 
He has no yellow tummy patch and he has very dark navy eyes and ears and lighter navy for his spots and tails. Whereas in the future, all of that darker blue colors, they're all the same color. Now his eye design is probably the most obvious changes that we've seen. So in 2016, he has two eye patches just like Bluey. Whereas in 2017 in the pilot there, he has just the one eye patch. Whereas in the final product, we can see that he has the full covering over his face because it looks like a bandit, get it? So I love that eventually they kind of realized that and also made the cover and go over his entire face. Now his hair and his grey hairs in particular of course have changed over the images as well. Most particularly the 2016 and 27 pilots they just had the grey furs on like the dark spots of his body not on his actual nose. Whereas in future images like the wedding picture we start to see it just on his nose first but not on his face. Same as in baby race as well and it's not until he's finally in like his 40s when he's got both girls that he has it all over him. And of course how could we not talk about hair and not talk about mullets as well? Bandit has had mullets many times in his life. Nice mullet, Bandit! <laughs> when he is 10 years old in the episode Fairy Tale, of course, he has a very sick mullet. And then also again in his wedding photos in his 30s, he also has a mullet yet again. And then of course in season three, we see him getting a mullet in his 40s because apparently mullets are back and they actually are in Australia, which is shocking. His tail design though is also something that has changed as well over the pilots in the series. So in both the 2016 pilot and when Bandit is 10 years old in the season three episode Fairy Tale, his tail is different. So his tail has the dark spot on the end, just the same as Bluey. Whereas in the 2017 pilot and the current series, it's switched. He's light blue on the end and he's got more of a darker patch towards like his bum. Now, a lot of people always like say that like, oh, you know, that's because healers, they change colors as they get older. And yeah, they do, but not that dramatically. Like the dark patches usually stay where they are. They don't really switch. So I don't know, maybe just like one small little difference in animation and I'm really curious as to why they decided to make that detail happen in the episode fairy tale. Now his spots are also a little bit different. So in 2016 we see that he has maybe two spots or four spots. You can't really tell. In the 2017 pilot however he has no spots at all along his back as he's rolling around and in the episode weekend in season three that first little part that's the same as the 2017 pilot. Same thing again. No back spots but as soon as he comes up to the stairs he's got a back spot again and of course we see that in future episodes. Overall I thought it was really cool to see bandit in that 2016 pilot and how much he has changed into the bandit that is like so revered now to the point where there's constant articles about how much of a great father he is, father of the year, and the fact that people just feel like they can't live up to him at all and it sets unrealistic expectations, which I always laugh at. The, the show is seven minutes long. They play that game for about usually that longer time. It, that's doable. That's absolutely doable. That is achievable. So I don't know. I have a soft spot in my heart for bandit. I think he's a fantastic father and I love to see how that comedy of him playing on his phone has still played into future episodes even in Bluey's big play as well it's all about him trying to find his phone and being on his phone so I think that that's something that obviously the creator had in his mind and he really just wanted to show throughout the series even though he never got to do that specific episode that we saw in the pilot version because it was too dangerous but cheeky dogs let me know what you think about bandit in that comment section down below which bandit is your bandit which one of the designs was your favorite and don't forget that if you want to see the one about Bluey as well as Chili to hit that subscribe button down below as well as that bell for notifications so you know when those videos come out. But here is the bluey one up here for you cheeky dogs as well as some other videos that maybe you would like to watch. And I will see you all in another video. Mwah! Bye!